campaigning for the district assembly elections is getting keener in the Ashanti region. Some aspirants are making ambitious promises to the electorates to garner votes in the polls. But in the case of the uh, Ahinsain electoral area, the incumbent assembly member has commissioned a police post to gain a competitive edge. William Evans Incum reports. We can call it a paradigm shift as far as our political trend is concerned. But some are promising some are also making it real, like this particular police station, which was just commissioned by one of the aspiring assembly members. But the point is, is our decentralization growing or we are rather witnessing interesting development as far as grassroots politics is concerned? As an assembly member, you don't take common fund, you don't take anything that should be able to aid you to put up such a facility. How did you do it? Uh, some of us, we took it upon ourselves that, no, we have to also enter into this race, come out with our ideas, and make sure that we inculcate what is in us for the public to also see. Uh, and these are some of the things that we are doing. I'm not shaking at all. Are you going to promise more than this one? Oh, it depends. If you are there, then maybe you will think, maybe you know what you can do. Whichever way you say it, maybe the municipal chief executive for Asukwa municipality has hit the nail right on the spot. I haven't heard one household, one household, one biogas, whatever, I haven't heard it. But then I think some of them are too over ambitious. Um, you don't know what happens at the assembly, we don't know what's going on there. So if you stay back and say things that you don't even know, it becomes a little bit of a problem. So I think people should be a little bit circumstanced. At the end of the day, deepening grassroots participation in local governance is very imperative. And maybe people are becoming more and more interested in this particular system. From Ahensan in the Asukwa municipality, I'm William Evans Inkum, TV3 News.